I'm Mark Bunn, and I lead the SaaS business operations team for Nokia's Cloud and Network Services Business Group. Thank you for joining me in this journey through the six principles of the SaaS universe. The Cloud and Network Services Software as a Service mandate is to drive Nokia's adoption of this mutually beneficial business model. CNS has a broad portfolio of applications that are prime candidates for widespread SaaS adoption in the next 12 to 24 months. You might ask why, how, and when communication service providers transition to software as a service. Let's start by answering why now. The CSP demand to improve time to value for software it uses to manage its business, IT, and network will only continue to grow. At the same time, the expectation for lower total cost of ownership will also continue. SaaS provides the right combination of rapid time to value with on-demand access for mature SaaS applications and low TCO with pay-as-you-go and pay-as-you-grow commercial models. Today, CSPs already require their order to cash solutions as SaaS. They will also accept new SaaS solutions in the areas of security, configuration management and domain control, and artificial intelligence and analytics. Eventually, CSPs will expect forward-thinking vendors to provide marketplace-enabling platforms, systems of record, and networks as SaaS. The timing for CSP spend on SaaS depends largely on the portfolio in question. For instance, their adoption of SaaS is happening now at the customer experience and BSS layers of the communication stack. We expect that CSPs will also accept new applications used to configure hardware solutions, provide analytics, manage security, and enable marketplaces as SaaS now. In the near future, I expect CSPs will be open to implementing 5G-ready systems of record, such as monetization and OSS orchestration, plus specific network functions like NWDAF, PCF, and CHF as SaaS. Analysis Mason provided a good synopsis of the changes currently underway in their recent September 2021 monetization report. They said, uncertainty regarding new use cases and capital constraints have made SaaS a desirable option for CSPs because it's ideal for a start small and pay as you grow approach. SaaS offers limited customization options, but CSPs increasingly favor a configuration-centered approach to reduce the cost of operations and maintenance. This statement is another indicator to me that the communications industry is staging for widespread SaaS adoption. Thank you for listening. I'm Mark Bunn.